to make a little magazine rack for your dolls and some magazines. So first we're going to do our magazine rack so we can do the magazines while it dries. Um, we're going to take two mini craft sticks um, or you can do three. It just depends on how thick you want it. Um, for small dolls though I would stick to two just because it's um, more realistic sized. I'm just going to take a little bit of our glue and put it on the edge of our wood. Now if you decide to use hot glue, get an adult's help, or the Gorilla glue, the Gorilla wood glue, you'll need an adult's help for that. And you're, If you decide to use the um, wood glue, it's going to take quite a while for it to dry. That stuff takes forever. Okay, so while you have these two drying and sticking together, we're going to take two mini craft sticks. We're going to cut them in half. Do you get it cut? If it's uneven, you can either cut it again, which I try to avoid just because it makes the wood split a little bit worse but you can either cut it again or you can take your nail file and you can just sand it down to get it even so now that we have all our edges sanded down and rounded off we're going to take them and find out exactly how far apart they need to be spread um, to stand over our magazine rack like that so we're going to put ours about there. So you just want to, you're going to take it and just lift the edge a little bit. Stick in some super glue. Pinch it together and then we're going to put it on our magazine rack again. And double check the width. And you want to try and do this quickly before it dries. So we know exactly how far apart it needs to be. And you're going to do this for both sides. As you can see, once we got our legs stuck together, we're just taking our hot glue gun and we're putting little dabs of hot glue on each of the sticks on the bottom. And then we're just quickly setting our legs on there. And you just hold them into place until they dry. Now, just quickly before we move on, we wanted to let you guys know, anyone who collects the miniature My Little Ponies or, La La, or the La La Loopsie dolls, you can actually flip these over and use them as benches for picnic tables. And instead of using the mini craft sticks, you can use regular craft sticks um, for the table. You can stick with the mini craft sticks for the benches and you just use regular craft sticks and cut those in half and follow the same directions for your picnic table. Just an FYI in case any of you guys actually use those. Okay, so now that all of our stuff is dry, we are going to take four toothpicks. We're just going to line them up together and we're going to cut off the tips. You just want to cut off the very, very tips because you have to actually measure them to our stand. So we're just going to take one of them and stick it in here and find out exactly how much we need to cut off. And that's how much we will cut off. And you can do this continuously back and forth until you actually get the right size. So if you have to put it back in there and chop again, then you can do that until you get the right amount. Now that we have our toothpick the size that we want, we're going to stick it 
back in line with the rest of our toothpicks and we're just going to cut them all out to be the exact same size as the first one that we got measured out. I'm just going to take our scissors and just chop these. And you want to be a little careful when cutting these because you don't want to have a piece of toothpick fly up into your eye or hit you in the face. I've honestly done that once, so. Now that we have all of those together, we're just going to take them and we're going to glue one at the very bottom. Okay, not very bottom, but we're going to glue one about here on our rack. And then we're going to take another one and we're going to glue it right about there. So we're going to go glue those and we will be back. Now that we have everything glued in here and it's all dry, we're just taking the small little strings of hot glue and gently pulling them out. And once you've done that, your magazine rack is finished. So next, to do our magazines really quickly, we just took one of our dog magazines, because we don't have any fashion magazines, and we cut out a bunch of the little miniature magazine covers that they have inside. And then we just went through and we cut out a bunch of pages that have big paragraphs like this. And you just want to take it and just cut up the sides. Like this. Bam. And on the very edge right here where the paragraphs begin, you want to get right on the very edge of every word. Now this is only if you want it to actually look more realistic. You don't have to do this. You can just randomly cut out the words. So we're going to take one of our covers and we're just going to take it and put it on the edge right here. Make sure you hold it in place and we're just going to cut along the very bottom of it all the way across. Then you're going to take your craft bond you're just going to apply some of that really quickly to the back. I mean, not quickly, you may want to take your time, but I'm just doing this real quick. For time's sake. And we're just going to glue that onto the back. Make sure all the edges are lined up. And then you're going to fold it in half. And just cut off the excess edges. And then you're just going to do this multiple times, um, minus cutting off the back. You can just take this, and you just put it along here, and you're going to cut it out just the same. Just cut along the bottom, and then up the edges. And you can do that for as many as you want to make it as thick as you want. Um, and then as soon as you have all the printouts that you want for it, you're just going to take each individual one, fold it in half, and you're just going to run the edge along the craft glue, and just kind of up and down a couple times, and just kind of slide it in there, and just lightly pinch the edges and hold them together until it dries. And then once that's done, you have your little magazine. And you can place them all in your magazine rack and put them in your doll's living room or bedroom or bathroom or whatever. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Hmm. I wonder who that is. Hey, you go. Oh, hey, Raven. Come on in. So, what are you doing here? I'm here to see your sister. Oh. Okay, you guys going somewhere? Yeah. Where are you guys going? To the pet store. To get me a pet. I decided I want one. You want a pet? Yeah. What kind of pet? I haven't decided yet. We'll figure out when I get there. Oh. Well, have a seat. She's going to be a while. Oh, okay. Don't you guys have pet magazines? Um, 
We have dog magazines. Are you thinking of getting a dog? I don't know, maybe. Can I take a look at them? Sure. Let's see which one, which one. Oh, the dog Bible. This one's perfect. Here, you'll like this one. This one's got all sorts of breeds in it. Oh, okay. Ooh, these puppies are cute. What is this? I don't... What's a Labrador? Oh, Labradors are super cute. Ah! I really wanted to get one, but Dad told me no. So, yeah. Oh, awesome. I think I'm going to get one. Hey, Raven. Sorry it took me so long. That's fine. Your sister gave me this magazine, and I know what I want to get. I want to get a Labrador. They're so cute. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Are these the new magazines Mom just got? Yep. Oh. I think you came right, Raven. I really want to look at these. Sure. No problem. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, she got so many great magazines this time. Hmm, I don't know which one. Honestly, ugh. Thanks for watching Yuko's Crafting. Sayonara!